Hi, I'm Bruce, and I'm going to do a line of five Lenormand reading using the Under the Roses Lenormand. Cards are already shuffled, but I'm shuffling them once more just to make sure. So, five cards from the past through to the future. Except we're going to move them over a little bit so they hit the dark spot. <laughs> there we go. So the, so, the past, we have the journal, which is knowledge, and the ship. So this is knowledge about travel or knowledge about moving. Moving maybe in a very structured way. So this says... Perhaps somebody's been reading about travel or learning about it, learning about other places. Now the centerpiece here is the lady. It's a woman. So this is clearly a lady who has been spending a lot of time thinking about journey, thinking about travel. This is not the stork, so maybe not thinking about, for example, moving, but maybe an extended journey. Nobody goes on a, on a, a sea voyage just because they... Uh, woke up and decided to do that. It's a little bit more than going to get a cup of coffee or some delightful iced tea. So what lies in the future for the lady? We have the house, which is home, and the mountain, which represents an obstacle. So she's been thinking a lot about a tra about journal, a journey, about traveling, but ahead of her, what's going to, is her, ho is her home, and her home serves as an obstacle. It's holding her in place. On the one hand, clearly she wants to travel, but there are some very significant obstacles that stand in the way. And with that, I'll pass you to Georgina, who can okay. talk about who can talk about my interpretations. Okay, so I'm taking the mic now. That was a really good reading. I know that this was just kind of a practice for you. And I know I said, don't read for me, but uh, you so obviously were reading for me <laughs> that it, it, I cannot let that pass without saying, oh, he's, he's totally reading for me. I am indeed the lady. And yes, I have been, this is journal in this particular deck, but this would be book if you're using a standard, more traditional Lenormand deck. So book and ship. I have been studying and gathering information about travel, travel in general. We usually take vacations in the summertime. Uh, this summer we're having triple degree weather, so we're indoors with iced tea and the AC running, so I apologize for the sound today, but it is, it is way too hot to turn off the AC. It is like 108 out there. So, and the card in the middle, it's the subject, the lady, and then going into the future, house and mountain, been thinking about moving the house, been thinking about doing things to the house, and then a mountain showing an obstacle of some sort in the future regarding my home. And possibly the physical house itself. Like I said, it continues to get really hot here. We might start getting serious brownouts. I'm very concerned about what would happen if the grid should fail, and then there would be no wonderful uh, AC and there's not a nearly enough iced tea in the world to keep me cool in triple degree weather. This was a very good reading. Um, I do have some thoughts about things, applied techniques you can do on top of this reading that could add additional depth. For example, you could do mirroring, which is taking the cards at either end and bringing them together as if you were folding this into like a book folding it open. So book and mountain information but obstacles. And because this was my reading, I can enlighten you about that. For everything I've studied about, say, changing our electrical grid or doing things to the house, there are obstacles, meaning there are penalties if you just start doing this stuff without licensed professionals who know what they're doing, adding solar panels to your roof. 
ship and house indicates vacation from my house, taking trips away from the home. As you mentioned, this is not about moving house. This is not, did not have the stork, which would indicate migration. This is really more of just journeying and traveling and taking a vacation away from the house because it's so hot this summer. And then, of course, the lady in the middle, the subject or theme of the spread. This was really good, Bruce. Thank you. Thank you. It's always a, a treat to have somebody else read the cards for me. Thank you so much. This has been Georgina and... And Bruce. Bye-bye. <laughs>